in YouTube. Today is Thursday morning and we are headed to Bryce National Canyon. It's a first for both Brandon and I. We've lived in Utah our whole lives and never been here before. So we're excited to see that. So come along with us. Thanks. So right behind me you can see the yellow mountain, that is Candy Mountain, which there's a song written back in the 70s about Candy Mountain. I put it on here but copyright probably wouldn't make it so we would get in trouble. I don't want to bother that. I can't even sing it. So anyways, we're gonna walk around, take some pictures and show you a bit more of this. This whole area is just really cool. Just All unique little hills and Candy Mountain right in the middle of all of it. But I'm gonna go four wheeling later on, but heading, heading to Bryce Canyon first. So this is the home of Butch Cassidy where he grew up. He turned into a little state park. He was 14 when his family moved here. And he was about 18 when he left. Those of you who don't know, Butch Cassidy is a famous outlaw who grew up here in Utah. Jill just said Robert Redford was much better looking. He played him in Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. I like some of the old farm equipment they used here. Old spreader, the barn, but this is his house. Can you imagine putting 13 kids and a mom and dad in this house? Butch Cassidy was the youngest of 13 kids. We'll just go on the side, it makes it easier. There is a glassed off petition, so you can't really go in, but the old stove, the table, an old bed over there. Of course, the mattress is gone. There's the dresser and a couple of chairs. And probably had a ladder to access the Attic right there. I'll stick this up and see if we can see anything. Can you imagine doing the laundry for 13 kids on that washing machine right there? That's probably why they only had one or two items of clothing each. I wonder if these aluminum picnic tables are unique to the property or if they're brought in at a later date. 
and we are under video surveillance just in case. Hello. Makes you wonder if this was maybe for chickens or pigs or a cow. Not sure what they would have necessarily done in here. Maybe they kept the horses in here. Not very big for horses or cows really though. Maybe this was the tool shed. Tool shed where dad said, get the belt, meet me in the tool shed. You're getting a whooping. You stolen $32,000 from the people of Utah. You must get a whooping. Some old trees though. Well, we're back in the truck after looking at Butch Cassidy's house where he grew up as a kid. And we're continuing on down the road to Bryce National Park. We'll catch you next time, Butch. Horse crossing. We're safe. This tree was struck by lightning in the year 1906, and this is all that's left of it. So Jill and I, mom and dad, are walking up to Sunrise Point at Bryce National Park. And Jill just made a comment that she didn't realize this was such a tourist attraction. We lived here for so long and never been here. And here we finally are. A lot of people. We had to park the truck about 26 miles back and we've been hiking in. We're just about there. I'm gonna have Jill give me a piggyback ride in a minute. Or maybe I'll have these flying folks do it. Uh -uh. All the bugs? Yeah. There's something in these trees making clicking sounds. It's my knee. Warning, dangerous cliffs. Watch your children. Stay in your car during lightning storms. No pets or bicycles on trail. Do not leave your valuables in your car. Here we are going into Sunrise Point. Elevation 8,015.
you down. Laying on the job. Not like your friend right there. Wish that was my lodge that I owned and lived in. So this map is a map of the world, but a pin dot represents everyone that's been here since May. They clear this every year. There's been people from all over the world, Greenland even, Iceland, Nova Scotia, Korea. Australia, Madagascar, even Nigeria. But the US definitely dominates this place. Well, YouTube, we uh, saw some amazing country today, Bryce National Park. If you haven't been here, you really need to come. If you've lived in Utah for 48 years like me and never been here, get off your butt, get in the car, and head down to Bryce. It is way worth it. Do you guys agree? Yes. It, uh, I've seen pictures of it, and pictures are nice, but it just doesn't do it justice. This video probably won't do it justice as sitting here and actually looking at it with your own eyes. And every time you walk 10 feet, everything kind of changes. The cliffs are now pointed in a different direction. And so if you're going on vacation to Utah, put Bryce on your list of things to do. If you're living in Utah, need a day vacation to something to do, come down and check it out. Cause the winter is really pretty with snow on all this too. So winter or summer, spring and fall too. Although I don't know if the leaves change color in the fall here since it's all pine needle but definitely worth coming down $35 at the gate unless you have a season pass for all the national parks and I'm not sure on that but dad said it's free so come on down and check it out totally worth your time have a good one bye